Okay, what do we got here? CPU temperature right now is running at 90 something degrees. Why is that? Wow, the CPU is running at 93. It should not be doing that. Uh. In this video, I'm going to go pick up an AM3 Plus motherboard. Hopefully one that is in working condition because if you follow the channel regularly, you'll know that not too long ago, uh, I actually met up with someone in my local area that had an offer up listing up for one. And that motherboard ended up not working out. But because that video was actually, like it performed really well, we got a lot of views. Uh, a lot of people either reached out to me via email or uh, through the comments saying that they had AM3 Plus motherboards that they could offer to me, whether it be to just straight up give to me or to sell. One of the people who offered a board to me, they live in Washington. They live kind of local to me. They don't live like super close, like 35 to 40 minutes away from me with no traffic. But with Seattle traffic, that could easily become like an hour plus. So uh, let's head out and I will tell you more about the deal later on when we're actually heading to meet up with the person. Yeah, we're actually going to meet up near the container store parking garage. So um, we're a little bit early. We were supposed to meet at 7 p.m. But uh, we got done with all of our stuff uh, in Seattle early. So we started heading down here sooner. We have about an hour to kill. So we're gonna go into the mall and I guess hang out until it's time did you uh, want to park? To meet up, huh? Did you want to park near where you're gonna meet or you can park at Nordstrom and drive there? No, I, I just, I'm just gonna park where uh, where we're gonna meet up with them. So okay. he said near the container store, which Straight. is- Straight, yeah. Yeah, so. The motherboard that uh, he has is actually the Gigabyte 990FXA UD3. He's gonna sell me the processor with the motherboard too. I don't need the processor, but I don't think he has a use for it. So I just said, I'll take it off your hands and maybe one day I'll make a video off of like, you know, an old, I think it's a Phenom 2 processor, uh, AM3 Plus, so. All right, so I think he should be about here by now. So I'm heading out to meet him. There's the container store. Trung? Hey. Uh, where did you park? Uh, just right there at the, kind of like the last row. Okay, yeah, I'll park closer to you. So you said white minivan, right? Yeah, it's uh, kind of like behind that pillar over there. Okay, yep, uh, I'll pull the car around. So I forgot he has a case too. I think he's trying to sell with, with like everything. So it'd be nice if we could park the car side by side. So I'm just gonna move right next to him. Thanks for being able to meet up, by the way. Uh, it's no problem. I totally forgot about the case, too. I was like, <laughs> oh yeah, he mentioned the case that he didn't need anymore. Does the uh, motherboard have a cooler on it, by the it way? It does. It's oh, an perfect. H60 water cooler. Perfect, I okay. I didn't, I didn't want to take that part because it was like, okay, it's too much shit. Okay, here we go. I think the, even the IO panels are all plugged in. Yeah, I just want to, see if it boots on and i brought a graphics card and everything oh okay have you been watching my channel up to before that video or did you just randomly come across that uh actually yeah so i've been watching like your land party video oh, okay cool like cool that. cool like, oh okay you guys have like so many land parties uh-huh yeah and that just like brings memories back in the day yeah for sure <laughs> we we I've, i have two videos that are that i need to get done uh -huh. one of them i went to texas Oh, you went to Texas? Yeah, with uh, another group of people that I met online uh, that I play World of Warcraft with. Yeah. So that one I'm in the middle of editing right now. And then me and my friends had one in March. Oh, uh, okay. Down in, uh, my friend Jan moved down to Olympia so that he's like the furthest away now. Oh, so yeah. Yeah, that's... <laughs> yeah, that's it was deep. Yeah, don't you like, I think you live like somewhere up north? Yeah, I'm up in like Linwood Everett area. So oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, that's, a, that's quite a good drive. Seattle traffic just over the years have just gotten worse and worse. Oh, tell me about it. So it's just like any any excuse we can make to not come down south, yeah, yeah. we try to do, so yeah. So are you originally from here? Um, So I grew up in Tacoma for the most part. Oh, okay. But I was actually born in uh, California. Okay. I saw your area code, 949. 
Yeah, that's uh, the Orange County. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was born in Fountain Valley Hospital. Oh, really? And uh, okay. a lot of my family are down in, like, uh, Irvine, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I lived down in SoCal after undergrad. I moved down there for work and everything like that. I lived there for about six, seven years. Down in uh, Tustin. Okay, yeah, yeah. Area. Did you go to Micro Center there? Actually, yeah, I was see, just. I love that place. Though. Yeah. And then, like, the only the best the next best thing like even up here I wish we had one up here because of all the like good deals and stuff mm -hmm. and then like the next best thing was like you know fries and then that wow. fries like we're not business I don't know how long ago now a yeah. couple of years so and, and like you know every time I visit fries I'm like oh this looks more depressing it like, is even more because like things aren't getting stocked they were doing like workout equipment uh like it's so refrigerator yeah, it's just like it's too just much stuff right. yeah I think everything is plugged up correctly but we'll see. <laughs> Uh, oh wait, no, I gotta turn on the battery. Okay, now it should be good. Come on. Oh. I totally forgot to put the memory in. Oh. <laughs> I, I have memory. <laughs> okay. I thought I had everything in, but... Okay, so it looks like that just booted right up, but it's probably looking for a drive. Yeah, so that's good. That's a good sign. Come on. Oh, is this the hard drive? So I put in, uh, so I have an M.2 NVMe oh. in there, except it goes into the PCI slot for these oh. older systems, because otherwise, yeah, yeah, cause I don't think this, one. yeah, this yeah, doesn't no, have an M.2, right? Have right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were making some of these AM3 Plus motherboards up to like 2016 or 2017, right. still brand new. So that's when M.2 started to pop up on them, but, um, with some of these older systems too, the way that the Windows partition is like uh, installed on the drive, yeah. it might not just be plug and play because I installed that one on like a modern system, uh -huh. the Windows. So, okay, I think I, I can get this figured out though, but it looks like it's working. So uh, yeah, I think we're pretty much good to go. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it boots up into the BIOS. That's all I care about. So yeah. Um, so you said that you were cool with Zell, right? Yeah, so I've never used it, but... So if I can get your number, uh, I should be able to pay you like what, for me account number? Or, or? no no no, no. Yeah, oh. your phone number oh my phone number. yeah, yeah. Uh, okay so let me sign in real quick yeah i i don't use zelle too often but yeah. more often now i've had people request that over paypal or venmo so oh okay um i've, I've done it a couple of times all right so it's sending now so do i get something on my phone Is so you should get a text message saying oh. you get you received a payment i think it works you think you got it Yes, I think we're all set. Okay, perfect. We're all set. All right, sweet. So thank you very much. All right. uh, yeah, I, no I appreciate it, man. It was all nice right. meeting nice you. Nice meeting you. Uh, have a great rest of your weekend. And uh, yeah. All right, you too. All, all right, right. Thank take you. care. All right, so now I am back home and I'm just going to try to get this motherboard uh, booted up into Windows and make sure everything is working just fine. Yeah, the, the drive that I had was my main benchmarking drive, which uh, was installed on like an AM4 platform. And sometimes with Windows installs, it's not just plug and play, taking it from like a really new or more relative platform to like an older platform like this. I've had situations where it just wouldn't work at all and I had to do a fresh uh, Windows reinstall on like a new drive. So yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get it to work. Uh, and if not, just quickly install Windows and get in there. Let's get all this plugged back in again. Okay, let's see. So this is where we got earlier. While we were in the parking garage. Don't mind the tape on the screen. I use that to line up my uh, my overlays when I do benchmarking and stuff. Sometimes I have to change the resolution and the scaling gets off, so I use that as a reference. But, okay, what do we got here? CPU temperature right now running at 90 something degrees. Why is that? Wow, the CPU is running at 93. It should not be doing that. Uh. Oh, this is not a, a removal filter. I do, the fan is on. Yeah, the fan is on. Pump block should be running. 
pump connector right here, which is plugged in. It's just a three pin because the pump pretty much, I think, runs at like 100%. And then here's the, here's the fan for the AIO. So why the CPU is running at 94 degrees apparently, I have no idea. I think I'm gonna remove this and put on just like a, a different cooler, like an air cooler. So I think this Wraith Prism, which uh, I got from some AM4 processor, uh, I think this actually should fit on the latches on uh, even though it's AM3 Plus. So yeah, let me remove this right here. To his knowledge, I'm pretty sure uh, this was working just fine. So this is a little odd to see. Kind of really high temps out of nowhere. Now I gotta clean up the CPU. I mean, the thermal paste on it is a little dry. I don't know if that's... Actually, I'm just gonna reapply the thermal paste and see if that's it or if there's something wrong with the pump. Either way, that's not what I was intending on buying or like that's not part of what I cared about in this package. So if it ends up being uh, the, the pump or the AIO has issues with it, then it's whatever. I don't really care. See how this goes now. Uh, yeah, what the heck? Why would it be running so hot just in the BIOS? I mean, the fan's spinning just fine. Uh, radiator is top, so uh, pump block is below where the barbs are. But I have no idea why it's just running this hot. Huh, looks like thermal paste did not make a difference. It is just getting up back up to like 100 degrees again. Uh, I'm gonna try putting just a normal cooler on there. You can tell if things are going right pretty easily with a normal cooler. Is the fan spinning? Is it making, you know, flat contact? That's pretty much all you know. Here, you gotta worry about actually circulating. The radiator fins are not getting hot. Yeah, as soon as I pull the pump connector, as, and I plug it back in, I can hear it gurgling a bit. All right, we're just gonna put a good old fashioned air cooler on this thing. Yeah, but the radiator fins were not warming up at all. Even though I can feel the tubes getting warm and I can definitely hear the pump was running. So we're just gonna take all this off, move it out of the way. All right. Get this on here. Let's see how the air cooler does with it now. And there it is. Got the Wraith Prism on there. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with this AIO, but that I'm not concerned about it at all. It's fine, it's whatever. But yeah, now we're down at CPU temps at 35, which is kind of as expected. Uh, so yeah, super convenient that AM4 uh, cooler can still fit onto you know AM3 Plus and stuff like that for a really quick check. So yep, we're good here. Uh, okay, this is my benchmarking drive. So it's a M.2 NVMe drive onto an adapter that goes into the PCIe slot. So uh, this is where I use like the benchmark and stuff because it's just so quick to be able to pull it between systems. So it's looking like uh, the Windows Boot Manager is not being detected at all. I don't know if it's an issue with the the drive being incompatible in terms of uh, me installing Windows on it on like a newer platform and then just trying to use it with this older one or if it doesn't like the uh, adapter that I'm using from like a NVMe M.2 to a PCIe. Yeah, I think I'm gonna run Ida, not Cinebench. So we'll do Ida. That's a pretty quick transfer. Okay, so we'll run Ida 64. 
here's its just test system memory cpu okay got it and we will start just need to know that the hardware is in good working condition so yeah uh let's wrap up the video now uh this is a little bright let me fix the lights real quick i'm pretty sure most of this part of the video was blown out i apologize for that uh that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video though uh, i want to thank trung again for meeting up and selling me this bundle it is indeed working thankfully it's running this ida test with no issues uh, so yeah, you're gonna see this motherboard in a future video. Let me know down in the comments below uh, If you guys picked up any hardware recently if you picked up hardware that had issues Or if you picked up any old hardware like this if you're playing with like AM3 plus or like, you know decade old parts But yeah, other than that though, uh, I want to thank you all as always for watching and for continuing to support the channel Thank you to the channel members for their above and beyond support as always Be safe out there and I'll see you down in the comments as well as in the next stream and or video Bye